Hello and welcome back to the Off The Crossbar podcast with myself, Regan Walsh. Now before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a post of ours. And today it has been a joyous day for Newcastle United fans as the takeover has now officially been completed after a long and tumultuous time. Uh, the statement read by the club says an investment group led by PIP Public Investment Fund and also compromising PCP Capital Partners and RB Sports and Media Investment Group has completed the acquisition of 100% of Newcastle United Limited and Newcastle United Football Club Limited from St James's Holding. All requisite approvals have been obtained from the English Premier League and the acquisition was completed on the 7th of October. The investment group is compromised of a long-term patient investors who have every confidence in the future success of the club. Today's announcement is the conclusion of a thorough and detailed process that has allowed the investment group to arrive at a deal that benefits all stakeholders and will leave Newcastle United well placed to pursue long-term strategy and clear. His Excellency Yasir al Rumayyan, Governor of the PIF, will serve as non-executive chairman of the Newcastle United. Amanda Staveley, Chief Executive of PCP Capital Partners, will also have a seat on the board. Jamie Rubin will also be a director of the club representing RB Sports and Media. So this is a very, very big sign that Newcastle United are slowly on the turnaround and are set to become one of the big clubs in English football again. So this comes after a long 14 month battle between um, Saudi Arabian owners the, and the uh, Premier League to get all this done and dusted with after uh, there was trouble with um, the legal uh, streaming of the Premier League in Saudi Arabia by B in Sports and after that um, battle had been dealt with earlier on this week it was then clear that the takeover for Newcastle United would be very much completed soon and immediately and it has been and the takeover is now 100% official so what does that mean in the future for the Magpies? Well in the short term future in January you'd expect the funds to be there for the manager to spend on whoever he wants to help strengthen the squad and get them to a strong and safe position in the Premier League for the remainder of this season. Now in terms of the manager there has been a lot of reports over the last few days that Steve Bruce will no longer be manager um, of the club now with the team currently on international break that does serve enough time for Bruce to be uh, parted ways with and then a new manager put in place for when the club returns after this current international break with the team currently in the relegation zone so we will be waiting to see what news of Steve Bruce's future will come out of this um, also what we will need to know is obviously whilst this is great short term news for Newcastle United um, there also hasn't been, obviously, they can't sign players this second because obviously we're in October and the transfer window is closed. So there won't be any immediate signings for Newcastle. Um, but it will be very interesting to see what happens with them in January in terms of signing and obviously next summer um, what money is made available to the club uh, in terms of investment for first team players and uh, there has also been a lot of news saying that they do want to invest heavily also in the youth academy uh, to help them become one of the best teams again in England. So Mike Ashley's tenure as owner of Newcastle United has finally come to an end to the joys of many many Newcastle United fans and what has been possibly the longest 14 to 18 months uh, in many Newcastle fans lives it is finally at an end and they have new investment owners of the club going forth. Right, like we said at the start of this video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and turned on post notifications so you know any more news regarding Newcastle United and you'll be able to find it out here on our channel and following us on social media as well at Pod for all the latest news and stories regarding this takeover. And until next time, we'll see you soon.